Oh, today is another special occasion because this is the inaugural episode of the show on the Hot Button Sports Show called Deal or No Deal with Mo Lane. It's very simple. I'm going to ask Mo a set of questions. He's going to give me his honest answer and opinion. And I'm going to tell him if we got a deal or if we don't got a deal. But most importantly, you get a chance to get involved because I want to know in the comments, does he have a deal or is he out of deals? Will it work? Will it not work? And we're going to switch it up as the weeks progress. There are going to be times he's going to ask me my opinion on some things. And I'm going to give him my answer. And he's going to give me a deal. Uh, he ain't going to give me the deal at all. Uh, so that's how, that's how we rock it. Deal or no deal. Let's get right into it. And the first question I got for Mo Lane centers around the number one draft pick. The first pick in the NFL draft from this previous draft. And that is Trevor Lawrence. And my question for you, Mo, is this. Will Trevor Lawrence have the best game up until this date of his career against the Bengals on Thursday night? First of all, I want to say that's an excellent question um, because Trevor Lawrence, in my opinion, has yet to come into his own. Right. We're only a couple of games into the season and we haven't seen the Trevor Lawrence that we feel like, you know, everybody's been weighing on. Um, and I'm a Trevor Lawrence. Fan. I like Trevor Lawrence. I, I, I thought in college, I thought he was one of the best quarterbacks um, that I had seen at the college level, you know, uh, with my eyes. Um, so all about Trevor Lawrence, like the guy, hope him, uh, I hope he does well. Right. Uh, but if you're asking me deal or no deal. No deal. And I'll tell you why. Uh, he can have a good statistical outing and he might have a decent game. But I wouldn't necessarily say that he's going to have the best game of his career. And let, let me go a little bit deeper. I feel like the game that he is about to play is going to be overshadowed by the comparison of the number one draft pick Trevor Lawrence versus the number one draft pick Joe Burrow. And that's wow. probably what the media is going to focus on. And yeah. at the end of the day, Joe Burrow is going to have a better game than him. So will he have a good game? Maybe. But overall, I think Joe Burrow will end up getting the best of him, and that'll be the narrative, and that's what people remember. So uh, in the court of public opinion, he won't have the best game of his, of his young career. And, and, again, we're still early. But another thing that I wanted to point out was he doesn't have the weapons, in my opinion, that Joe Burrow has. And again, this is going to be Joe Burrow versus Trevor Lawrence. And uh, Joe Burrow is coming off a pretty good performance against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And go. he's got some weapons that he can trust. You know, he's got uh, uh, Tyler Boyd. He's got, um, who's the running back? Joe Mixon. And Mixon. Underrated. On, yeah, and on top of that, he has a strong defense <laughs> a defense that's only giving up what you know 10 or 15 points probably a game and that's the defense that Trevor Lawrence is going to be facing so uh, I don't think he'll have he'll have a decent day but it won't be better than than the first couple of you know three or three games that he's played so no deal for me and you know what I have to agree I agree will Trevor Lawrence have the best game of his young career? Nah, man. No deal. No deal. And for the exact same reasons that you brought up, first of all, the Jaguars are the worst team in the NFL. You know, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to, I didn't want to go out and, and just I'll throw say it. Them. I'll say it for you. They, they, they suck. And I, I don't, uh, you, you know, a lot of Sometimes I use that. You know, I use that about teams, you know, that I just don't like, but I don't really mean it. I mean it with the Jag the Jaguars suck. They are a bad football team. And I don't believe 
that they will win. And I don't believe, because there's a difference. You can lose a game, right? But still, you can have a great individual performance as a quarterback. I don't see that happening. And just specifically because that defense, man. Let me, let, let me run this off to y'all. It's the fourth best defense in the NFL. They only average 18 points per game. They only giving up 18 points per game. And here, and here's the scary part. They got 10 sacks. <laughs> they got 10 sacks this season. And coming from a Buccaneer fan who we can't buy a sack, that's amazing. And so and that's that's the last thing a rookie quarterback wants to see <laughs> come coming into the game. A defense with 10 sacks already in, in three yeah. games. Yeah. So it's gonna get ugly. And uh, I agree with Mo, no deal.